I'm going uh, to present to you a project that I conduct uh, actually concerning the identification of silvicultural practice, reconciling productivity, soil biodiversity, and soil carbon sequestration. This is a, a project uh, conducted with colleagues of uh, INRAE Mojan sur Vernisson, colleague of uh, Université Rouen Laboratory Ecodive, and me, I'm from uh, Laboratory Ecology Systematic Evolution uh, at uh, Orsay, Université Paris-Saclay. So uh, this project is uh, positioned in the following context. Actually, the, the wood production uh, needs to be increased and foresters have to uh, consider uh, this wood production by integrating the preservation of biodiversity and uh, the preservation of the main function of uh, forest uh, uh, and more particularly ecosystem services such as, for example, carbon sequestration. And uh, all of that is really challenging for Forrester and it, this is totally included in the um, French national strategy concerning biodiversity with the national strategy uh, plan for biodiversity, but also uh, the national low carbon strategy or the four per 1000 initiative uh, uh, developed after the COP21. So this project is uh, concerning uh, uh, the management of forest and more precisely the reduction of the density of forest plot and uh, uh, the using of uh, mixed species forest in uh, forest plot in order to reduce water consumption, but also concerning mixed uh, species uh, to optimize resistance and the resilience of forest ecosystems to uh, constraint, environmental constraint, for example, such as a drought. So this uh, project have to uh, objective to uh, analyze the effect of density and mixture of species, especially on soil functioning, with a focus on uh, quality and quantity of organic matter coming from litter and coming from rice deposit. We are going also to analyze the mineralization of this organic matter, the soil organism biodiversity, and the influence of uh, uh, all those uh, activity on carbon stock stability. And it's going to be conducted and uh, mixed uh, and non-mixed uh, species forest and with different uh, level of density. We know that reducing density uh, involve a different temperature, different soil and air humidity. Uh, going to um, we, are, we are going to have a different understory vegetation and it's going to conduct to different soil quality. And uh, also when we have a mixture of species, we are going also different organic matter quantity and quality, which is going to influence soil quality, but also different water demand regard to the species, uh, different wood depth exploration regard to the species present, and also different nutrition um, of the species regard to all, all, all of those aspects. So we are going to conduct uh, this project uh, in the Optimix uh, uh, experimental site. This is an experimental site present in Orléans Forest uh, in the south of Paris. And in this, um, in this experimental site, we have pure pine, mixed oak pine and pure oak plot with two levels of density, medium and low. And we are going to, uh, we have ever analyzed all the point that has described previously uh, in um, 20 and this year. So we are going to characterize and re-characterize the soil organic matter and sequestration with biochemical analysis of litter and different soil horizon. We also analyze biogeochemical stability of organic matter. We analyze soil biological activity with uh, in situ global soil respiration uh, measurement. Uh, we also measure the potential mineralization of organic matter in the different condition. And we analyze the soil biodiversity in terms of microorganism, but also micro and macrofauna. Uh, with uh, DNA sequencing. So we have conducted uh, our first sampling campaign in uh, September 20 and the second one uh, two weeks ago. And uh, I can show you some previous results of our first sampling campaign uh, conducted in September 20, notably concerning the soil respiration. So we have observed in the 
oak monoculture that we have under the low density plot. Uh, this is uh, the figure on the, on the left. Uh, you have uh, an increase, a significantly increased soil respiration under low density plot. Yeah. And uh, if we analyze the mineralization rate, the potential mineralization rate of organic matter, we also observed an increased mineralization rate under low density plot. So we consider that the microclimatic condition of low density plot favors soil respiration and mineralization rate. And uh, it could be of uh, particular implication for C storage. And uh, we have to uh, continue analysis concerning C storage uh, in all the plots. Concerning the diversity, we have uh, ever conducted some qPCR and we have analyzed a number of copies of DNA. Uh, for bacteria, fungi, and archaea. And we saw here that under low density plot, we observed uh, um, a reduced number of copies of DNA of bacteria, fungi, and archaea. We can explain that with the fact that uh, most probably we have a lower rhizospheric soil volume under low density plot. But uh, we observed that uh, due to the favorable microclimatic condition, this uh, um, microbial compoundment is uh, more active under low density plot. So uh, we have to uh, continue our analysis to analyze the results and the, the sample we take uh, two weeks ago. And uh, all of that is going to be conducted this autumn. And perhaps uh, I'm going to show you that later in future webinar uh, uh, conducted by Augusto. So thank you for attention. Thank you, Stefan. Yes. <laughs> so it, when, when density go low, you observe a low, low biodiversity in soil and, and low, low respiration, low, effect, low emission of CO2 in your, no, this is the. Yes. Yes, under low density plot, we have uh, concerning the in situ soil respiration, we have a lower soil respiration under low density plot. This is most probably, most probably due to no, uh, higher uh, CO2 flux under low density plot. And yeah. this is most probably due to the microclimatic condition, notably the temperature, which uh, influence, uh, this is known that the higher temperature is going to influence the soil respiration and the soil activity. Because this is in agreement with our hypothesis in the oak plot. However, I have not present this results, but um, in the campaign conducted two weeks ago, we have shown and that uh, we observed that under the mixed forest uh, with pine and oak, we yes, don't yes. have an higher soil respiration under low density, but this is lower under low density the respiration. So this is totally the, the reverse that, that we, we observed in September 20 on a monoculture of oak. So we have really to uh, correlate the microclimatic condition, the, all the ecological con condition of all plot to really understand which parameter control this respiration, uh, if lower density could explain a reduction of respiration or if it is not really linked or if it depends on the mixture of the composition of the plot of the stand forest stand. When you say a low density, yeah. you mean also low density of roots in the soil? Yes, we have uh, conducted some uh, recolonization corals uh, with uh, root recolonization corals, uh, and uh, it seems also that there is a lower root density in the low density plot of forest. But uh, it also depends because uh, under pine, uh, monoculture of pine, we have a uh, different understory vegetation under low density plot, uh, and uh, we, we, we have to precise all that analysis, but it seems that there is also roots of other species coming from the understory vegetation, uh, which is going to also influence the soil respiration. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Stefan.